Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Panera Bread Bowls. This one is the Tuscan style chicken. It is white meat chicken, bell peppers, fire roasted tomatoes, spinach, a mini penne pasta, and a Tuscan style tomato herb sauce. Uh, we bought this at Kroger. It was $5.99. It is in the refrigerated section. So if you, uh, for us it was near the deli. That's where we ended up buying it. So it says keep refrigerated. Uh, it is a, here it is. 12 ounces or, or 340 gram meal, and it looks pretty decent. So $6 though, maybe a little expensive, we'll see. Um, the whole bowl is 350 calories, which isn't bad at all. There's the ingredients. Uh, let's see, heating directions. So um, only see microwave directions, it's really tiny. You can probably see it better than I can. Uh, remove bowl from sleeve and remove film. Place container on microwave safe plate. Um, cover loosely. Okay, why would I remove the film and then cover it loosely anyway? Um, heat on high for two to three minutes um, until hot. Stir halfway through and let stand one minute. Wow, those were, I'm really having to squint to get the directions. So heating for two to three minutes. So I'm gonna put it in for uh, a minute and stir it and then I may go like a minute 15. Um, yeah, so and covering it loosely to me says just put a paper towel over top of it so it won't pop. So, let me see if I can get this out of the package easily. Well, it's not easy. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So it says remove this cover, so that's fine. I'll remove it. Here's what it looks like. So I'm gonna put a paper towel over top of this, get it in the microwave, I will stir it halfway through, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. It looks pretty close to the picture on the box. There's the there's the box, and there's reality. Um, I mean, the peppers aren't, or tomatoes maybe, uh, whatever the red things are, they're not quite as, um, I think they're tomatoes, they're not as big as what's on the box. Um, it's a little, sorry, steam. Um, and it's a little, more brown in color the sauces, but beyond that, it's pretty close. So I'm gonna take this over the table and uh, we'll give it a try. All right, here we go. I got pasta, I got chicken, spinach, peppers, I think there's a tomato in there. I got everything I could, so here we go. You don't get a lot of like hunks of chicken. It's more of like a shredded chicken. Um, the pasta is nice. It's um, I got a couple of pieces that were really soft, but then some of it's um, is cooked really well. So I like one of those pieces was almost underdone to where it was a little firm. So the pasta is kind of all over the place. None of it is really like a, a mushy texture, which is good, but but some of it's a little over, some of it's a little under, some of it's just right, kind of kind of a mixed bag, right? Right around the good cook part though. Um, so texture-wise, the pasta is the biggest texture you get. It's almost all pasta texture, and then just like everything else is kind of like tiny little pieces that you really don't get the texture of. When you get a bigger hunk of chicken, you do get the texture of that, um, a little something more tough to chew through. Hmm. Like here's a big piece of chicken. You just don't get very many of the big pieces like that. Most of it is like um, like shredded little pieces. Chicken's good and moist. It almost reminds me, it almost reminds me of the flavor of turkey instead of chicken. I'm sure it's just the seasonings, but that's what it kind of, that piece that I just now ate tasted more like a turkey than a chicken. Hmm, it's good. I like, I like the textures and uh, Flavor-wise, the um, I was worried about some of the seasons in here being too strong. The spinach, when you get a bite of a lot of spinach, it really does come through. So it's a very strong spinach flavor. But also, I get a lot of the tomato and the pepper as well. So I don't mind the, the taste of it. They could have left the spinach out completely, and I probably would have been even happier um, because the spinach is very... Uh, that earthy kind of green flavor that some spinach has. Sometimes you get spinach and it doesn't taste bad or taste strong at all. Um, this one, it was really taste strong. It doesn't taste bad, it's just really strong. Um, 
I like it that you get the peppers and the tomatoes. That's really nice because um, tomatoes add just like the, a little burst of freshness, um, which I like that. And the chicken, unless you get a piece by itself, it kind of just blends in the background. You really don't get anything like um, like standout flavor for the chicken. Overall, pretty decent meal. I like it. Um, it is in the refrigerated section, so you will have to watch the date on it because if you uh, if you buy it, you have to eat it within a few days. They usually don't like stay um, fresh longer than you know three or four days usually. Um, but yeah, that that's the only thing. It's just it is in the refrigerated section, so watch the date. Uh, I like it. It's not my favorite by any means, but it's definitely well enough, uh, good enough to try out if you're interested, if it sounds good to you. The seasonings in it aren't um, offensive to me. You know, they're not really like funky or strong or overpowering or anything like that. The herbs in there are very nice. Um, I, I can't identify one particular herb that's standing out. Like it's not really garlicky or oniony or anything. It's none of those. Um, it's just really well balanced flavor. So, um, I'm gonna say four out of five. If they left the spinach out, I may have bumped it up a little bit more because the spinach for me is very, very strong. Uh, if you really like spinach, you might give it a four and a half. But for me, it's a four out of five. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.